Hey everyone, I am Apostle Michelle Peterson and so welcome to today. Today I am going to talk about the 10th requirement in the covenant of blessings with the Lord, okay? So today, our requirement for today is honesty, honesty. And so, uh, you know, we may not understand how, you know, important or serious lying is. And we may think it's really not that serious to God. But think about this. God is truth. The Lord Jesus is truth. You know, God is 100% truth. He's not going to tell lies. And one of the things that, um, well, I'll go ahead and read some things with you. But uh, in Revelation 21, verse 8, it says, but the fearful, the fear is really another one too. The fearful and unbelieving, unbelieving is another one. The fearful and the and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death okay this is in revelation 21 8 three of the the people that are in here are fearful people unbelieving people and liars in the same category with murderers and uh, sorcerers and whoremongers and idol worshipers okay so you have fearful people unbelieving people and liars are in this category and they're going to be cast into the fire so I asked the Lord about this one day I was like Lord why are liars in there you know why are they in there with murderers and all these other people and what he told me is that the kingdom of darkness the whole kingdom of darkness Satan's whole entire kingdom is built on lying and deception that's what the whole kingdom is about he is called the father of lies so when we're lying we're actually we have the character of the devil demons it's not of God God is truth so he is the father of lies so now we're a part of God and we have the father of truth the father of lights you know the father of glory so we remove those that character of deception and lying because that's the kingdom of darkness and you know if we're doing those things and then we will be with the demons you know with them when they're cast into the fire so it's a very serious thing fear is a very serious thing um, unbelieving is a very serious thing all of these people will be cast in there with the enemy so honesty this is something that the Lord requires of us to walk in this covenant with him we have to be honest with you know, when it comes to all things, everything that you're doing um, on your income tax check. Um, like I told the story that, you know, I had my insurance had lapsed on my car and I still was driving my car with the insurance lapse. And so when it was time for me to get everything back legal again, um, I had to pay a fine and I had to go on the government's website and pay this fine. And so one of the questions that they asked me on the government website is, have you been driving this car while the insurance has been you know lapse and so I was like Lord what am I supposed to do you know I'm on the government's website and they're asking me this question and it's illegal for, you know here we have to drive with insurance on the car it's illegal so I just said I said yeah I've been driving it without insurance I was just honest I checked the box and I said that yes I've been driving it because you know I wasn't gonna lie just for the government who cares I mean, you know, I don't know. I know they're not going to put me, put me in prison for my insurance lapping, you know, lapsing on the car. But it kind of shocked me because I was like, whoa, I got to answer this honestly. But the Lord wants us to be honest. And this is a part of being in a covenant with him because he is truth. 100% truth. There's no lies in him. He doesn't have no part when it comes to the kingdom of darkness, you guys. And so we have to be just like our God. And he wants us to be honest, especially if you want to walk into a covenant relationship with him we have to be honest people and do honest things and speak honestly so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and so our next one is the 11th requirement for the covenant of blessings god bless